Thank you very much for being with us. I'm Andreas Wiseman, Deadline's international editor, and I'm very pleased to be here with the very talented actress and filmmaker, Mai Wen. Thank you for being here, Mai Wen. Thank you. Mai Wen is here at the Red Sea Film Festival with the movie Jeanne du Barry. Uh, Mai Wen, this is your first time at the Red Sea Film Festival? Absolutely. Yeah? Absolutely. How are you finding it? How is it? Very nice. Yeah. Very interesting. Mm. The mixture of between the people, and, um, we feel uh, the religion mm. and also the freedom of the festival and the subject that are in the movies. So mm, it, it sounds like uh, something happened here in this yes. country. Ideas are changing. Mm -hmm. this, so yeah. I'm really... Uh, grateful to be the witness of uh, mm -hmm. of that. It's your first time in Saudi Arabia. Yes. Yeah, but your movie has has some support from Saudi Arabia. That's Absolutely. right. Absolutely, they saved the movie. Actually, when we were shooting last year, we had so many financial problem during the shooting. We were missing so many million, and my producer was completely wow he he didn't know he didn't know how to deal with and uh, one day he told me the movie is safe because of the Saudi people Red Sea so I'm really grateful to for them and I really wanted to come here and to say my grateful and also through the media and also physically I wanted to say thank you Great. Yeah. I'm sure they're very happy for you to be here mm -hmm. and very happy to have been involved in such an interesting movie. Tell us why you wanted to make this. And also this I'm really movie. happy because they choose um, Jeanne Dubarry, mm. which is uh, a woman who was a courtesan mm. and she was in advance on her time. Mm. Uh, so I think it's uh, interesting to to see that Saudi people, maybe we know all, we know them all over the world for the difficulties about the idea towards women, etc. So I like the symbol idea that they support Jean de Barry. She was a courtesan. Mm -hmm. so. You touched on it there slightly, but maybe just tell us why you wanted to make this project in particular. Well, for me. It's difficult to explain why, because it's like if I ask you why you fall in love with your wife, you would say, well, I don't know, that's her and that's not her. For me, when I choose to make a movie, it's exactly the same. It's I'm falling in love with a subject, with a character, and I don't really know why, and I don't really want to know why I fall in love with them. I don't know. It's like that. It's organic. Mm, something mysterious. Yes. Je ne sais quoi. Yeah, je ne sais quoi. <laughs> je ne sais quoi. Um, what did you find the main challenge about the process and the project once, once, once you had received, got the money? It sounds like mm -hmm. the money was a bit of a challenge to mm -hmm. get it all together. Mm -hmm. But once you had the money and you had your cast, mm -hmm. what did you find the biggest challenge about the production and making it? Uh, it's difficult to choose only one thing because everything is so difficult mm. on the movie. Even if it won't be an 18th century movie, everything is difficult. It's always dealing with problem. I mean, when if you ask me, what is it directing a movie? I would say deal with problems. Mm. Yes. You always have to fight to make it happen because you have so many people in front of you it's never as you want it to be so i don't know everything yeah there's a lot well it's very yeah. complicated of course being a filmmaker and the star of the movie at the same time which well, but you, you've done it a few times obviously on one side it is a problem but on the other side it's really practical because i won't fight with myself for example um um I'm always on time. <laughs> I know my lines. I know the subject. I know the story. Uh, so, but the thing is schizophrenic mm. because 
I have to love myself if I am an actress in my movies. And it's difficult to deal with that because, of course, nobody loves himself. Mm-hmm. So I have to deal with my paradox. Mm-hmm. On the on one side, I really wanted to make to do the part because I love her so much and I'm sure she chose me. And I know that there is... N- no um, no one actress who can understand her but on the other side i have to deal with my face with my voice with my all personal things so but i'd rather having this paradox to deal with instead of choosing another actress mm-hmm. for this i mean only for this role mm-hmm. because jean looks like my my soul my i don't know i feel so close to her well, you did a fantastic job. Mm, it was beautifully you. realized. How was the experience of collaborating with Johnny Depp? How did you find that collaboration? Well, there is some days absolutely wonderful, and some days it's complicated. Mm-hmm. Um, but I know the media have made a paper about us when we were not on the good uh, mood. And I don't want them to have the idea of it was a nightmare. I mean, it. They, some days it was really great and some days not. But Johnny Depp is not an exception. I mean, all of my movies, we have problems between actors, uh, technician. We spend so much time together and the pressure is so high. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's... Um, comment on dit, c'est inévitable. It's inevitable. Yeah, inevitable to mm. have a um, tension. Sure. So Johnny can be adorable and uh, also he could be hard, mm-hmm. but I am the same and I had a, lots of problems also with technician. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's so difficult to make movies right now Absolutely. since the COVID. Mm-hmm. The budget is really lower than before Mm -hmm. and the time that we have to make the movie is smaller so the pressure is so high sure there's a lot of creative tension and Mm. everyone's under financial pressure it's like we don't have any time to think Mm -hmm. on the set to maybe okay maybe it doesn't work like this maybe let's do it another way Mm -hmm. (sighs) might you work with him again would you do it do you think you'd work again? If the script mm-hmm. asks for it, yes. Okay. Yes. And what's next for you, my Wen? What's I know you have a movie that you've acted in with Ivan Atal yes. directing, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so I guess that will come out next year. Yes, in January. In January. Yeah. Um, obviously, you're very happy. I suppose you're happy with the response to your movie uh, in France, which has gone very well. Jean Dubarry. Yeah. Has... Yeah. I'm very happy. Yeah. And I'm um, so, I'm really happy to travel all over the world mm. because each country has a different reaction towards the character, towards the movie. So it's always interesting for me to capture the country. Yeah. Do we know what your next project might no. be? The thing that you're going I don't to know. No. direct I'm thinking or... and mm. reading and seeing film. Well, we look forward to yeah. hearing what it is because they're always very interesting projects. Mm, thank and you. we thank you again for being with us today in the Deadline Studio. Thank you.